Hi everyone, welcome to the Hannah Show. <sighs> no. I'll change it next time I'll figure something else out. The Hannah Show sounds terrible. <laughs> but anyway, next part of the France trip. Um, first off, my aunt wanted me to mention all the school days are different. Everybody has their own personalized schedule, and every day ends at a different time. For example, Monday I get out at 2 o'clock. Tuesday I don't get out till 5 o'clock. On Thursday I don't get out till 6 o'clock. That's like 11 hours of school, with about 2 hours of break in there, still. Friday, I get off about 3.30. Oh, and on Wednesday, Wednesday everybody gets out at twelve. Wednesday here is just sort is just a half day. You have a couple classes in the morning, and then the afternoon is spent usually doing an extracurricular activity. Uh, Alex does horseback riding, and she goes out to see some friends for in another town on Wednesday afternoon. My Wednesday afternoons are making these videos. That's my extracurricular activity, except I'm not getting credit for it. I'm just doing it. So, yeah, I have my schedule right here. I have everything color-coded, and, yeah. All right, and also, I got some good questions on YouTube and Facebook. But before I get into all of that, I... I think I'll just go ahead and tell an interesting little story. Um, I don't remember what day it was, but recently I got a little note for at school for being late to class, to some class. And I'm looking at it, I'm trying to decipher this handwriting. What class is this? And then I remember there was this one class that I got in right at the last minute, but I wasn't really late. And then it says, how, or more or less time of lateness, 30 seconds. I got a note for being 30 seconds late to class. I thought that was hilarious. There, I think it's this teacher that's really strict. Um, I probably shouldn't say the name since this is going on the internet, but she's very very strict. I mean, she was my the first teacher that I met, and I thought, oh, thank heavens, this teacher is so nice, because I had read that French teachers are really strict, but no, she's the worst. She's, she talks really slowly, and she, oh my god, she wears the same dress every day. Um, I'm not saying that's particular, particularly a bad thing. I mean, she can wash it at night, but I just thought it was a little funny because every day she wears the same dress, same necklace, same shoes, everything. It's it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that's my little note for being 30 seconds late to some class that I don't know what it is. MOC2. I think it's some preparation class for the end of the year tests that high school students take, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, so... So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the family that I'm staying with. I have gotten a little bit of video footage about the house and the someone asked about the hill. I think I told you about the big hill that I have to walk up on the way back from the bus stop every day. Um, so I will show that in a few minutes. But first of all, um, it is it is really hard you know, getting used to being in a new house with this new family. They have their their own routines that they're all settled into. And so, you know, just the, the little things make you nervous, like laundry. I mean, you have a pile of dirty clothes now. You have to ask. If you're shy and not super confident about your language skills like me, that is terrifying. You have to ask, what do I do with my laundry? Which is simple, sounds simple enough, but it's not. And, well, of course, the laundry actually wasn't a big problem for me. She immediately, she pretty early on, showed me this is where you put your laundry. So that's okay. But also, like, the bathroom. It's just 
kind of nerve-wracking using this new bathroom and they say you know make yourself at home treat this house like it's yours and you know that's the bathroom you know that's ooh, there's something about the bathroom trying to settle into this new bathroom it's not like a public bathroom where you go in you leave and you never come back it's supposed to be your bathroom you know for two months it's kind of nerve-wracking again the bathroom is it's not actually a problem, but one interesting thing to know, French people, they don't have, they don't have toilets in their bathroom. Uh -uh. They have little water closets, like a room, a tiny room with literally just a toilet in it, and maybe a stack of comic books on the floor beside it. <laughs> but that's about it, besides a little trash can. Um, like, not even a sink, it's just a little water closet. That's all. And of course, they do have bathrooms, shower and tub and everything. But, yeah. So, getting used to the new routine uh, was a bit hard for me. But it's, I think I'm settling in now. Get up about 6 in the morning at about 6.45. We're walking down to the bus stop. And then school ends whenever it does. And then we come back, we have a little after school snack. We don't eat dinner, we don't eat supper until about 8 o'clock at night because Miss, Mr. Mito doesn't get back from work till about 7.30 or 8. And then sometimes Mrs. Mito um, goes to yoga or Zumba and Alex has horseback riding in the evenings on Wednesdays. So, yeah, I... It, it was kind of hard getting used to it, but I am settling into the routine now. So I do have one little other story to tell you. Um, a day or two ago, I stayed up too late. So I was extremely tired the next day at school. And so in history class, I just sort of put my head, you know, I put my elbows on the desk and put my hands like this. So that you can't really see my eyes. It looks like I'm just looking at the book in front of me. But I closed my eyes for just a second because my eyes were just so heavy. And suddenly I, like, I think I fell asleep. Like, just for a split second there, I fell asleep and, you know, jerked my head back up. And I'm thinking, oh, oh, did anybody see that? Oh, man, I was so embarrassed. I don't think anybody noticed. In fact, I don't really think my head really dropped that far. But... Yeah, I almost fell asleep in history class, so I have been paying more attention to my bedtime now. And also, a few people have been asking to hear some French. Um, I'm not quite comfortable enough yet to ask people, you know, to talk for my videos. I'm, I'm trying to work up to that slowly. But I thought I might read you this little poem from my French class. Their French class is sort of like a literature class. And so I think I'll read that for you. It's by Guillaume Apollinaire. It's called Alcools, I think. I do not know what that means. But here goes. Dans la plaine, les baladins s'éloignent au long des jardins, devant lui des auberges grises par le village son église. Et les enfants s'en vont devant, les autres suivent en revanche. Chaque arbre fruitière se résigne quand de trop loin ils lui font signe. Ils ont des poids ronds ou carrés, des tambours, des cerceaux dorés. L'ur et les singes animaux sages quêtent dessus sur leur passage. That's, that's my French accent. It's not terrible, but it, hopefully it will improve. So, yes. All right, I'm going to show you some other stuff now. Uh, first, it is the a part of the walk from the bus stop back home. All right. So this is part of the route that I go to take to school every day. It isn't all of it. Um, I didn't want to look like I was talking to myself and as I was walking by all those houses. But this is part of the Killer Hill. This is part one. Part one is the easiest. Um, it's a really nice day out today. It's really windy, but it got up to like 80 degrees, which is a lot better from 
you know, 60 degrees. Um, let's see here. Yeah. I, the hill, you can't really tell how steep it is from the video, but it's really quite bad. <laughs> At least I don't have to walk uphill in the morning, but in the morning it's freezing usually. So, I usually just try to look down while I'm walking this hill, because seeing all of that is just kind of depressing. But there's a really great view when we get to the top, so I'll show you that when I get there. So this is the really great view we have. It's absolutely beautiful. just in case you were wondering. That's the house I'm living in right now. Okay, so this is the living room right here. And this is the kitchen. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but this is the fame, famed view out the kitchen window. Yeah, that's what I saw first thing on my first day. Pretty cool. All right. Our dining room. Nice patio in the back. There's a pool back there, but it's not summer, so we're not using that. There's a little balcony over there, and this is my room. Yeah, so it's a little bit messy right now, but I have a couch, bookshelf, bed dresser and my desk is sort of a mess right now working and eating stuff but yeah and I have a little skylight up there it's really nice colors and everything I don't have a fantastic view of the window but and it's super windy so you can't really hear anything lots of French books to choose from this used to be their oldest daughter's room, and there's a closet there, but it's full of her stuff, and it's really messy, so I won't show you that. But yeah, this is where I hang out. It's where I work and make these videos, do my nails, eat ice cream, and write stuff. Yep. And yes, I do have a doll. I insisted on bringing it. His name is Richard. Say hello, Richard. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's my room right there. I hope you enjoyed that little look around. Um, sorry this video is a little bit longer than usual. But again, if you have any questions or you have anything else you'd like to see, uh, please put it in the comments section, please, on the YouTube page. You can put it on the Facebook thing if you want, but there's no guarantee that I'll answer it. Not to be rude, it's just I'm going to be looking at the YouTube comments page. And or you can also email me at Hannah's vlog at yahoo.com. Um, I will if you have any topic suggestions that you'd like to hear about. Um, I have been I'm working up slowly to maybe getting videos or pictures of the school. Uh, I, I don't like looking like a tourist, so I do feel kind of uncomfortable, but I'll try to get something maybe for next time. And in the meantime, anything you want to ask about, uh, if it's, you know, more private or whatever, you can email me and I can just email you back. I don't have to say it in the video. But I do, I love hearing from people because I am feeling a little bit homesick and it is really nice 
people message me or email me say hi thinking about you so thank you to everyone who has been doing that I, I really do appreciate it so I will get together some material for next time and I'll talk to you then